Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Deb C and the place to be, it's Deb C. Bloop, bloop, that's me, boop, Deb C. Hey guys and happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a great start to the day and a wonderful week. I head back to work today, so not happy. What was that? So thankful to have a job. However, I wish this was like a week vacation, but it was a day. Oh well, I'll get there. Okay, so if it is six o'clock or any time in the morning and you're watching this, then you're watching Motivational Mornings with me, Deb C. So let's get right into it with a quote. The quote is, live out of your imagination, not your history. That is from Stephen Covey, C-O-V-E-Y. Okay, today in pop culture news, in 1965, Sunny Chair got their first number one hit I bet you can imagine. Yeah, I bet you can guess what it is. It was I Got You, Babe. It stayed at number one for three weeks. It was their biggest hit. It was written in their basement. They wrote it in their basement. Rolling Stone named it one of the greatest duets of all time. And it was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2017. So there we go. Um, random fact of the day. I typed it in. And this is what came up. How long does it take for caffeine to take effect? It takes only 45 minutes for 90% of the caffeine to be absorbed. I'm going to tell you, I'm a person that if I don't have my coffee in the morning, um, I believe I am so addicted to caffeine that I start to get, I start to get a headache. And for me, I know it is, it is absorbed very quickly because one day I did not have my coffee and I, I had a bad headache, a bad headache. And I went through Starbucks, I got my iced coffee, I took one sip of it, and within like a minute, I felt fine. I felt so much better. So for me, I don't believe 45 minutes. I believe like way less than 45 minutes. Um, okay, let me know in the comments, how long do you think it takes for caffeine if you drink it to, to hit you, to take effect. Okay, celebrity birthdays. I came up with like six. There's a lot of people born today. Um, first of all, listen, we have comedy icon and legend, Steve Martin. Steve Martin is 79 today. He was born in 1945. Here's something interesting. He has tinnitus, which is like the ringing in your ear. Um, he, at first he thought it was from, it was due to filming a pistol scene, a pistol shooting scene in the movie Three Amigos. Who was in that? That was, wait, that was Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short. That's it. Okay. That's right. Okay. And, because now I'm just putting it together with like Steve Martin, Martin Short murders, only murders in the building, which is coming back. This summer, or this summer, or this fall, one of them, soon. Um, so he thought he got tinnitus because of a pistol shooting scene in that movie, but instead, it was clarified later that it was because it came from years of listening to loud music and performing in front of loud crowds. Okay, born in 1956 and turning 68 is Jack A. Harry. Now listen, if you're from the 80s, then you know, you know Jack A. Jack A. Harry was in um, 227. She actually became the first African American to win a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a comedy series for her role in 227. Also born in 1959 and turning 65 is actress Marcia Gay Harden. She was in, um, let me see, she was in How to Get Away with Murder. She was in The Morning Show, and she was in the movie. She was also in, I think, one of the um, one of the Fifty Shades of Grey movies. Um, and I think she played his mother, maybe. Um, you know, Cr Christian, was that his name? Christian, yeah, Christian's mother. But she was also in the movie, she was in a whole bunch of movies, but she was in Pollock, which won her the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Okay, also born in 1959 and turning 65 is 
uh, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson played his entire career with the Los Angeles Lakers. He is a five-time NBA champion. Um, Halle Berry, born in 1966. She turns 58. She was born, her name at birth was Maria Halle Berry. But then her name was legally changed at five years old to Halle Marie, Maria Berry. Her parents took her middle name, Hallie, from Hallie's department store. And lastly, born in 1983, turning 41, is Mila Kunis. You know Mila Kunis from um, that 70s show, Black Swan, um, Bad Mothers, was it? Was that? It was Bad, Mo Bad Moms or something like that. She's married to... Um, Ashton Kutcher, that's who it is. I was like, maybe I should write it down. I'll remember Ashton Kutcher. Um, she was actually born in the Ukraine. And then at the age of five, her and her parents moved to Los Angeles. Her, her parents and her brother moved to Los Angeles. She was five. They only had like $250 with them. So there we go. And the dad joke of the day. I love these. How do you make water holy? Or wait, let's start over. How do you make holy water? You boil the hell out of it. <laughs> Go right to it. Okay, guys. So, um, listen, potatoes downstairs. Uh, I got to put this on. It is hot. This, this is my neck. This is my, um, my neck fan. It is getting warm. It's getting toasty. Can you hear it? Wait. You can't hear it. Listen. Okay, you can't hear it. Woo, woo, that's nice. Okay, so if Potato was here, he would tell you, or he or she would tell you, you can do this. Um, and listen, if nobody told you yet today, I love you, you're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, positivity out there so it all comes right back at you. Please take care of one another. Please be aware of your surroundings, stay safe. If you're somewhere where it's super hot, get a neck fan from the TikTok show. No, I didn't get this from TikTok. No, I got this from Amazon. Get yourself a, get yourself an, a, a neck fan. Um, but also, hydrate. Hydrate often with water. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.